Imagine a night sky unlike anything else. No, it's not a planet from our solar system. It's something else. Wait, is that a black hole approaching Earth? It may sound like science fiction, but in the vast universe, such encounters are not as rare as one might think. In the next few minutes, we will embark on a journey through the realm of cosmic wonders and scientific hypotheses. But first, subscribe to my channel before YouTube evaporates into the abyss of a black hole. At first glance, it may seem like a fantastical scenario. However, according to calculations and computer simulations, in just our Milky Way galaxy alone, there should be around 100 million black holes. Yet we only know about roughly 20 of them. No, not 20 million, just 20. Yes, you heard that right, and scientists have only detected them indirectly. So where are the other 99,999,980 hiding? And what if black holes are much closer than we think? Much closer. And what would happen if on a clear night we saw such a sight in the starry sky? Spoiler alert. No, we won't see it. Not because it's impossible, but because we won't have time. Our planet will meet its end long before such a monster gets this close. You might say, come on, the probability of such an event is extremely low. However, black holes are quite enigmatic, and as we observe them, some rather eerie surprises may await us. Let's start by considering what is currently known about existing black holes in our galaxy. The supermassive black hole Sagittarius, A star, at the center of our galaxy is already mainstream knowledge. Everyone knows about it. We won't dwell on it today because it's too far away, and we definitely won't cross paths with it anytime soon, maybe in 4.5 billion years when the Milky Way collides with Andromeda. But it's not even certain that humanity will survive until then. As for other less obvious black holes, Astrophysicists have begun a true hunt. In 2020, there was much excitement about the discovery of the nearest black hole, just 1,000 light years away in the HR 6819 star system. But at the time, an alternative viewpoint existed where the black hole had no place. As a result, after new observations and data analysis in May 2022, the object was demoted. Scientists were finally convinced that it was just a binary star system. Oh, what a disappointment. However, not for long. Parallel research was ongoing, and the results didn't take long to surface. But first, a little explanation. Black holes are not exactly eager to be discovered. It's almost ingrained in their nature. Until recently, we could confidently detect only active black holes. These are the ones that voraciously consume surrounding matter. Traditionally, a star that failed to escape the clutches of the black hole becomes the donor of matter. In such cases, the black hole literally tears the star into pieces and subsequently spirals its remains into a dizzying whirlpool, forming an accretion disk. Remember Interstellar? It looks something like that. If a black hole doesn't have such a victim, it remains practically invisible. Only one intermediate scenario allows us to unmask this sinister, anonymous. This scenario occurs when a black hole has a companion star, but it hasn't yet approached to a fatally close distance. In this case, the star and the black hole engage in a cosmic dance, describing an orbital ellipse around the center of mass. The same happens in the case of binary star systems. Only then, do we see two stars? The partnership of a star with a black hole looks like a very peculiar dance. The star revolves around what appears to be empty space. It is precisely in this way that cosmic structures are highly likely to discover a black hole. So, Gaia BH1. An international team of astronomers turned to the data array of the Gaia Space Observatory. Remember? It's thanks to this telescope that measurements of the position, distance, and parameters of nearly a billion astronomical objects were conducted for almost 10 years. All of this was done to create the most accurate three-dimensional map of our galaxy. In this study, scientists analyzed the third release of Gaia data, 
which included almost 170,000 stars whose orbits indicated they belonged to binary systems. Astronomers were on the lookout for highly elongated orbits, which would suggest that one of the stars is very massive. Such a star would automatically be very bright. If there was an elongated orbit and no bright neighbor, it was a clear candidate for a black hole. Researchers analyzed a large number of such systems and identified one that stood out as the most suitable candidate. The astronomer's attention was drawn to a G-class star in the constellation Opiochus. It received the designation Gaia DR3437346532415306932. Don't try to pronounce that. The scientists themselves shortened it to Gaia BH1. Otherwise, it would be quite a mouthful. So this star resembles our sun but is slightly cooler and less massive. There are no stars nearby, but the elongated orbit suggests proximity to a massive object. The size of the orbit and its orbital period of 185.5 days point to the mass of its invisible companion, which is around 10 times that of the sun. A star of such mass would be thousands of times brighter than its visible neighbor. This was already enough reason to suspect the presence of a black hole. But scientists decided to confirm their findings with spectral observations using several ground-based observatories. This helped determine the star's velocity, which is about 100 kilometers per second. This too indicated the presence of a very massive companion. The spectrum showed that the object was indeed dark. Using the parallax method, they determined that Gaia BH1 is located at approximately 1500 light years from us and that already makes it the closest known candidate for a black hole. The key word here is known. How many more unknowns are out there? And how close can they get? As a reminder, at the beginning of the video, we mentioned an incredible estimated figure of 100 million. And where could they be hiding? Anywhere. And it's good if they're just hanging out in the vastness of space and not bothering anyone, or if they are, not bothering us. However, the cosmos is far more unpredictable than it might seem. And now we're getting to the most interesting part. Astronomers have suspected the existence of black holes that don't stay in one place. They have repeatedly registered the gravitational microlensing effect, creating very compact moving supermassive objects. However, the technology and computational power required for reliable identification were lacking until now. And in June 2022, two teams of scientists finally achieved impressive results. For the first time in history, they managed to detect a wandering black hole in our galaxy. Right now it's located about 5,000 light years away from us in the Sagittarius arm. Two teams were on the hunt for this monster. One was led by Kailash C. Sahu, an astronomer from the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland. The second team was led by Casey Lamb from the University of California, Berkeley. Sahu's team determined that the mass of this dark traveler is roughly seven times that of our sun. The second team was more conservative in their estimates, suggesting a black hole mass ranging from 1.6 to 4.4 solar masses. This object is moving at a remarkable speed of 162,200 kilometers per hour. Obviously, the process that gave it such an impulse was truly epic. Why did the black hole decide to leave its usual location and embark on a journey through the galaxy? The reasons and circumstances require in-depth research and broad discussions. But what's important here is something else. Having made this discovery, scientists unintentionally opened Pandora's box in understanding the nature of many other objects with similar characteristics. It may well turn out that the Milky Way is literally teeming with wandering black holes. And there's no guarantee that one of them won't pay us and our planet a visit. Of course, let's remain realists. The probability of such an event is still minuscule. However, scientists with enough scientific audacity have put forth a theory that, at first, seems like a joke. Well, it was truly radical. So what if there is already a black hole in our solar system? Seriously? A primary black hole in the solar system? In 2019, two scientists, Jakob Schultz and James Unwin, proposed such an idea. What if, 
instead of the hypothetical Planet 9 that some scientists are actively searching for, there's actually a small primary black hole of the same mass parked in our solar system. Their study was even titled, What if Planet 9 is a primordial black hole? Need I explain how the media reacted to this study? Here, it would be helpful to clarify what a primary black hole means. The thing is, we're used to perceiving black holes as not just massive, but also enormous, comparable in size to stars. However, there's a serious theory that black holes could have formed in the early stages of the universe. These hypothetical black holes are called primordial, and they could come in all sizes, from supermassive giants to microscopic ones. What's unique is that they could be located anywhere, not necessarily tied to regions of star formation. Schultz and Unwen's hypothesis, despite its radical nature, isn't devoid of substance and scientific basis. For a long time, astronomers have puzzled over the mystery of the anomalous orbits of trans-Neptunian objects. These strange trajectories exhibit a regularity that could easily be explained by the presence of a massive ninth planet with an extremely elongated orbit. However, actually spotting the planet in telescopes has proven elusive. But there's no such thing as an invisible planet. This is how the Schultz and Unwin hypothesis came into being. According to their calculations, a primordial black hole with a mass of 10 to the power of 11, or 10 to the power of 12 kilograms, could easily have survived to the present day. The object's dimensions, in this case, should be like this. No, this is not to scale. Such a black hole would indeed have the size of an average grapefruit. So, to illustrate this concept, scientists, not without irony, placed a conditional image of it right on the page of their own article. It's hard to believe, but there are no contradictions with the laws of physics here. However, confirming or refuting the theory is very challenging. Due to its radical and even exotic nature, there aren't many enthusiasts willing to spend years pursuing this line of research. But in the search for less exotic black holes, work is being carried out quite intensively. Scientists need new data, and they will come later from the same Gaia mission. There will be even more detailed information about binary star systems and many other interesting things. In one way or another, black holes are becoming increasingly difficult to hide from us. Sooner or later we will know all about our ominous dark neighbors. Be sure to share your opinion in the comments before the black hole spaghetti fies all of us. See you soon in the next video.